Hey, Don here. Okay, well, I had my lunch and I've been digging around out here in the garage trying to find <clears throat> for my grill here. Trying to find this one is uh, broken on one side. I guess it, it looks like it came out of over there. It's uh, the screws, they look so much like, uh, you know, I used to be a cabinet maker. And they, most of them look so much like they, uh, the screws that are used to hold hinges on a cabinet door. I think that's what they are. I think I put them in there at some point. <clears throat> I don't remember that. But, uh, let me get over here. I'll show you what I'm thinking about to... I was, you know, I mean, I want to go ahead and get it secured somehow. And, uh, so, uh, let's see, what you want to be, the, yeah, this one probably, some light on it. I got a couple other ideas that's probably going to make you laugh for gas or something. <clears throat> but, uh, I've already been looking around for a long time, and I don't have any more of these plastic things. It's, I was saying earlier, I save everything, but I didn't save one of those that I can find. If I've got it, I don't know where it is. Okay, there it is. And this thing, see one side's shorter, the top one there, it's broke off. And uh, evidently they go like that, because it won't go in there like that. Either that or it's not really the right one. But it looks just like it from the surface of these up here that are still okay that are in there. This one with the tripod can be good and bad. With the big, I'm using the other one with the big legs on it. Okay, but I've got three at the, all three of these, the top ones. They're okay. They seem to hold okay. And so, uh, yeah, they all have a big wide slot. The ones in the center don't. These have the kind I was thinking of, the squarish ones that pop in, you know, pop in and pop out. They usually are the ones that come loose. Of course, these are just old. I mean, if this is really from 1976, can you believe it's in, still in that good of shape? But uh, piece of plastic, I'd say. It, it, it doesn't... I'm looking at that other one. It's staying there. But it doesn't want to slide in the other way. That's the way it would make sense. I wonder if it goes in this other one. Like if something got to... I mean, if the other ones are still working, this one would, but yeah, it doesn't do anything. And what I found is that it was just, you know, the screw was in it, but it was not. It was on the back of the grill. That's how I found it. You know, I think my light's causing more trouble than help. No, on this side, I guess it helps. Just depends on where I have it, I guess. Okay. So, um, those, there's just those two that I really need something in. I keep bumping into myself here. Put it, set it on my light legs. And, okay, yeah, there it is. Okay, now, you ever seen one of these? Got three sizes here. I think this is the big. This is the biggest one. It's probably my choice. But uh, they're really long. They're wall anchors for sheetrock. I put I picture hangers and stuff. But see, I wouldn't have to punch it through, so it doesn't matter if it punched through. All I got to do is stick it through there, get it on the grill, and then, uh, well, if it'll turn, and I can do at least one of them like that, and just put it in there, and it'll it'll grab. I don't know as long as that screw is. Yeah, actually, I think it will work without hitting back there. This one's even longer. It's just how, how it happened to be. I might be able to find... I can always cut these bolts off if they're too short. This one here's got a point on it. I guess you're supposed to just drive it through. I mean, you need to at least drill a hole for that part. Or you'll make a hole bigger than, that, than this. <laughs> this one would work. Uh, there's only one of those, though. And these others have Phillips heads, whether well, they're kind of either or. Those are slot heads. I like to at least have the screwdriver, same screwdriver to take stuff apart. The only thing is I've done stuff like this before. I don't remember doing it on a grill, but I put it on something on a car, I think. Or something outdoors, and that rusts really fast. 
and it don't come loose because it's not made of anything that's meant to be outside but you can always uh, break this and uh, in this case I can break this and get it out or that wouldn't break this one wouldn't break that easy or cut the bolt you wouldn't get in you wouldn't be able to get in there to cut the bolt though but you pro you're pretty sure you could you could break this little nut even if it stays on the bolt you can break it out of this and, and then you can pull the of course it'll pass through here so I will be able to get it off I was thinking of that so uh, I'm going to put one on each side and then it won't be flopping in the breeze and then the ones on the top will just leave it like they are. I may try to get some. I looked through all my screws too and I don't remember if I saw any that look like the right size. Let's see. I have some new ones in still in the packages. Let's get that long one. Yeah, that's the same size. So I'll just get the one that's already open and this one. And uh, stick all these things in the same area. I had to... I think I had all this in there too. And I didn't actually accumulate this stuff myself. My uh, friend, my old friend, his dad had all this. And when his dad passed away, a friend moved... He lived with his dad and he moved into an apartment. And... Uh, he had no place to keep anything, so he gave me this stuff. So I inherited it from my friend's dad. Uh, that guy broke down in my... I like these little square boxes, but I got all kinds of... Most, well, some of those are used and mixed, but most of those are brand new. Different types of sheet metal screws and stuff. And I'll see if I can uh, find something to put in there along... You know, up, new ones instead of those ones that are already in there and are pretty old. They're not really that rusty rusty so I think they really are that 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 material they're not I was gonna say they were brass but uh, it's my little magnet I don't think they're those screws that you put my screwdriver my little Phillips screwdriver it's they always always keep it magnetized but yeah they're mag magnetized bowl screws uh, that screwdriver just needs to be remagnetized. I always use, I have this wire, I should just do it. Probably a help with what I'm doing. I mean, I could use these, but they're not in a good, you know, they, they're getting to where they're going to just, they've lasted an awful long time. They're getting to where they're going to rust out. So, uh, where's that wire? Oh, it's in here. Let's see. Get some of this stuff back in its places. I want to remember to do that. That's that gooey junk. I want to put that on my. And you know what I think I'll do? I got to thinking. Well, here it is. Okay, see this coil of wire? Can you see it? That's how you can magnetize a screwdriver. It needs to be solid core wire, not stranded. This is a. It's not house wire. It's a house like you. It's wire like you would put in a. wire like you would put in a uh, industrial machine or something. Okay, now this is, you don't want to do it for long. Oh, did it, I let it sit, get over there in the wrong place. <laughs> I'll show you what it does. Of course, I didn't show you that it wasn't holding the screws, but if you've seen my other videos, you see me fighting with them. Not, not holding when I was taking them out. Now look, it'll pick up two. You can shake it off, but look at there, you can, that's all it takes to magnetize a screwdriver. You don't want to do that if your battery's, you know, gassing or anything. If you're charging your battery, people think you're going to blow up the battery if you do that. Some people do. But uh, as long as it's not gassing hydrogen, I believe is what they say. Hydrogen gas is what happens when you're charging them. But, I don't want it to... I let it jump and, I, and let it touch the actual post. It definitely can... I mean, it doesn't make me happy. 
doesn't make him happy at all. I like to have at least a couple of good young tennis together. And it wants to grab. That battery is so hot. That battery is a powerful battery. Okay, now I've got two magnetized screwdrivers. Oh, now I'm magnetizing screwdrivers all day. I need to get this back together. Wire's already getting hot. Oh, and I do have on safety glasses, too. Wow. Okay, that's enough of that fun. But, uh, yeah, you might pick a little bit less. Uh, not an 850 amp uh, cold cranking amp battery. <laughs> that's a pretty powerful battery. <laughs> I've been using this thing for years, and that's the most damage I've seen happen to it. <laughs> I've been using it for 15 or 20 years. That's the most damage I've seen happen to it. Doing that. Let it cool off a bit there. Well, it's all right. Now let's let it leave it out and let it cool off. Just put it up here somewhere. Okay, I've been wanting to do that. So there we go. Now let me get. Uh, this is my grill. You've seen it on the truck, but it's it's okay everywhere except for I noticed that 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 one there broke. Other than that, it's not broke. It's just dirty and old. It's faded. But, uh, they definitely, I don't know, it depends on what you like, I guess. But you'll see them do that with, like, mud trucks. Or just sometimes some people just, I guess they take them out. And then they got them for sale, and then that, there's no grill in them. I guess they thought they were going to put a new grill in it, and then they got tired of working on it. But didn't bone spend any more money on it. But So, whichever camera. The other one's plugged into the wire, so to the power. That's the other tripod that I was using. That it is easy to move and adjust. This one I'm running on battery right now. This one actually will run longer on battery. I can get 30, 40 minutes out of this one, I think. But once you get so far, when you plug them in, it can't catch up. So you, you, it's better to plug them in at, at start. So, yeah, I'll use those. That'll get me back together. Put a little rust buster on them threads. Oh, I need some more screws. Some that will go into those plastic things. Where is the one I had demonstrating? Don't tell me I laid it somewhere and don't know where it is now. I might have put it in my pocket. Well, I'll find that and find me some screws that will fit in there. Some better screws. And I'll come back with another video when I put this back on. Oh, the, the uh, test battery tester. I got to thinking... When I was over here doing all my tests on the wire, where I'd, this is where I had poked into the wire, where I put that all back together, and I'm put some of that gooey dunk on that, and tape it up. But I'm going to put that voltmeter on there again and try honking the horn and, and put it where I can see it, see if it jumps the voltage up. Because you know what, I had no ground to speak of with that being so corroded in such bad shape. The horn, in case you didn't see the other video. The uh, horn up in here. Let me sit down and get to where I can. This is not really set to where I can show it good. Okay, I'll have to do it. This is worse than re aiming. Okay, now here's the horn. And uh, the connection, the wired connection is right up in there. And. Uh, there we go. See the wire going up to it. I'm trying to show it without. Now, okay, so the wiring is going up there. That's the back side of the horn, and then this is the opening. And up here, it's where it bolts on. I don't think you can see it with it with it in there. Just one bolt and a big old bracket. And uh, the ground is the bracket going to the you know, body of the truck there, whatever, whatever you call that big black part right there that the grill and everything screws on to. Um, yeah, I don't think I can get the light on it and have the camera pointing at it at the same time. So, yeah. So anyway, uh, watch the video before this one. You'll see exactly what I did. I showed it everything. But uh, once I got ground back, everything was good. And I put some of that anti-corrosion stuff you put on your battery and on everything after I 
sanded it and cleaned it. Oh, there's that little deal. Now, why would I lay it right there? I guess it seemed like a good place. All right, because I want to use that to size up my screws. So, I'll come back in a little bit with the uh, actual putting it on. Okay, bye.